In autumn 2019, three bikes arrived from the Sheen collection in Australia. These came direct from his house. The condition of them wasn't very good because they've been stored since they were last used. So some of them going back to 1977, 78. Uh, a lot of damage done to them with the, having the water still in them, basically. So there was magnesium damage. There was also damage to the suspension, the brakes. Uh, one thing and another, so they really did need completely stripping and restoring. A lot of the work was done at home and I stripped the bikes down, uh, re-chromated a lot of the magnesium parts, rebuilt the brakes, rebuilt the uh, shocks with new seals. This was all done for assembly to be done at Motorcycle Live. The three bikes that arrived were the XR23, which was the bike that was built especially for Barry for the transatlantic match races to compete with the other things because the three-cylinder was then getting a little bit dated. There was the XR22, which he rode in 1978, which was the Grand Prix bike that he used and also some internationals in England. And there was the XR45, which was the last bike that he rode for Suzuki, which he rode the last one in 1984. This was the DAF bike for the Harris frame. So the two, the two bikes that were chosen to be restored for Motorcycle Live were the XR23, which was the 650, the big engine one, and the XR45. Uh, these were completely stripped and done. So now the assembly here has been done. The XR23 has been totally rebuilt and was started yesterday. Uh, and luckily it ran very well, which was the first time that it had been started for how many years? Not since it was 1979 was the last time it ever ran. So the XR23 was completely stripped, um, right down to the crankshaft was, were taken out, the gearbox was taken out, all the inspection was done on the gearbox, bearings that needed to be replaced were replaced, but luckily most of the bikes were so well maintained by Suzuki in the first place, so the bike was possibly rebuilt prior to it being sent out to Australia. So most of the parts, engine parts, had probably only done one or maybe two races. Uh, suspension was all stripped down, rebuilt. Uh, they're air shocks, so the shocks had to be regassed and rebuilt. The brakes, all the brakes, the pistons were all seized in all the calipers. Um, there was damage done from leaking of brake fluid. They were all seized up. Wheels were stripped back, uh, tested for any cracks, uh, repainted. Some of the work couldn't have been done at the show because it, there's a blast, you have to do all the blasting of the magnesium and the re-chromating, which is not possible to do from outside of the workshop. So basically everything that came up was almost a Meccano kit to be built up. Um, everything was clean, everything was tidy. So yeah, it was, the job at the show was quite an easy one because it was literally just assembly. As well as the ones that are being restored here, there's also a large collection of the Sheen bikes that have come over from Australia. There's a 1975 bike, the XR14, 1976 and 77 bikes, which are also classed as XR14s, which were the championship winning ones. The other one that's come over is the XR22, which is the 78 bike. So that is a, probably the best collection of the Sheen bikes done. Two of those have already been restored. One is still to do. Uh, also that came over just one week before the show was the little 125 that Barry started his race and really made his name on. And also there's a collection of the classic bikes that were used at the TT. Uh, there's an RG500 and there's the four strokes which are used for, mod for racing nowadays. The interest in the collection of bikes is fantastic. It's got a lot of reaction from the public because Barry was such a name and such an icon within the racing side of it. And it's the biggest collection of Sheen bikes I think there's probably ever been in the UK at one, at one time.